Hi, this is Luke for Production Expert, and this is using Dynamic EQ to make room for your vocal. I have a subgroup with keys and guitar going on here in my mix, and you can hear how they are really obscuring my vocals at the moment in the mid-range. Now I can automate to dip my key in guitar subgroup, or in this case, I've set up an inverse gate to do the same thing, but that is robbing the keys and guitars of useful energy across their entire frequency range. And that's not what I want. Instead, I can use dynamic EQ using the vocal as the sidechain inputs to scoop the mid out of my keys and guitars when needed. I'll play you that again with just the key and guitar subgroup so that you can hear that scoop when it's happening. So that's preserving the top and the bottom of my key and guitar subgroup rather than turning the whole thing down. After setting the frequency, the maximum amount of cuts and time constants, I've also told the sidechain to concentrate on low mid events to avoid the EQ overreacting to mid in the vocal itself. I've also heavily limited the send itself to get much more consistent triggering across my keys and guitars. To find out more about using Dynamic EQ to make room for your vocal, head over to the Production Experts blog where you can read our full article.